Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm really excited to show you this video today because Game of Thrones is coming back, season 5. Specifically, I'm going to show you two styles that we've seen on Daenerys in the preview material. There's one where there's a couple of braids just kind of draped down low over her hair bump, and then there's a couple where it's more wrapped around. These are really gorgeous hairstyles, so I hope you'll enjoy them. You're going to need several bobby pins to pull this off as well as six small hair elastics. Some hair clips like these will also come in handy, so if you have those, get them out. And finally, a hair bump like this. When you've got your materials all set, you're ready to begin, so let's go. I mentioned that I would show you two Daenerys styles today, but both of them start out the same way, so no matter which one you wanna do, begin by giving yourself a center part. Then, section off some hair at the front of your head by making a part line that runs from your ear up to about two-thirds of the way back along your center part. Make two sections like this, one on either side of your head, and clip out of the way for now. Next, with the rest of your hair tied back so as not to get in the way, grab a small amount of hair from your lower side hairline. Daenerys wears this bit hanging loose, so hold it out of the way while you braid the rest of this section. Now grab another small section at your top hairline. Divide this into three parts and begin Dutch braiding by weaving the strand closest to your part underneath the middle strand, then the strand farthest from your part underneath the middle. When you go to weave the topmost strand again, add some free hanging hair from along your part to the strand first and then weave it under like I do here. Also add some free hanging hair from your side hairline to the next strand before weaving it under the middle. Continue this Dutch braid back towards the corner of the crown of your head. Once you've added in all the free hanging hair from this front panel, finish the braid to the ends and secure with one of your small elastics. Make another Dutch braid with your other front panel of hair. Remember to hold some side hairline hair out of the way in this one too. Also do your best to make this braid symmetrical to the other Dutch braid you just did. Now pick up the rest of the hair that begins above your crown, smooth it out, and place your hair bump underneath this. Check in a mirror to make sure that the bump is completely covered, then pin the hair around the outside of the bump a couple times to keep it all in place. People with thinner hair might struggle with this hiding step, so a couple tips for you are to use a bump that matches your hair color, place it lower on the back of your head so you have more hair above it to cover with, or use extensions. After this first set of braids and the hair bump, the two Daenerys designs start to deviate. So here's what to do for the first one. This one can be seen early in the season when Daenerys is inside her pyramid in Marine. Grab a section of hair from behind your first set of Dutch braids and comb it upwards. Then braid this hair to the ends. Pick up another section just like this on the other side of your head, comb it upwards as well, and braid to the ends. Mm -hmm. 
Now pin the second set of braids over the top and around the opposite side of your hair bump. Once pinned, gather both braid tails at the back of your head, beneath the hair bump, and secure together with a small elastic. Release the braiding beneath the tie. Finally, also bring your first set of braids together at the lower back of your hair, about where your neck is, Secure them together with a small elastic and release the braiding below the tie point. And here's a shot of the first Season 5 Daenerys style. The second style I'll show you now is what she wears in the fighting pit of Marine. Grab onto the same section of hair that was behind your first set of Dutch braids, but instead of combing it upwards this time, braid them directly backwards. Now make a third pair of braids with two sections of hair along your back neck hairline, one on either side. Pull the left section over to the right as you braid it, because it will eventually wrap around the hair bump from the right side. Also pull the right section to the left as you braid it for the same reason. Now we will pin the braids up. Take the left side braid in your second pair and pin it under the hair bump. Wrap up around the opposite side of the bump, then over the top, then down the left side, pinning as you go. Continue wrapping and pinning this braid around the hair bump until you run out of braid. I tend to remove the hair elastics at the end of small braids like this when I want to hide the ends, so that's what I'm doing here. Also pin the right side braid from the second pair, but when you wrap it beneath the hair bump, pass it under a small section of free hanging hair. Daenerys has some peekaboo hair like this in a few places. Then wrap up the left side, over the top, and down the right side of the bump, pinning as you go, and hide the ends like you did with your last braid. Next, bring the right side strand from your third set, the one that you pulled to the left, and feed it up along the side of your free hanging hair. Pin it over the top of the hair bump and around it like you did previously. Next bring the other lower braid up, but pass it through some of your free hanging hair first and then wrap and pin around the hair bump. 
You may notice that my braid wrapping doesn't look as thick as on Daenerys, and that's because I don't have a fabulous HBO wig. Most of you out there won't have thick enough hair to completely match Daenerys either, but I think that's okay and that this style still looks good with thinner braids. If you really want the thicker braid look though, you should check out this video by my friend Siobhan, where she teaches you a Season 5 Daenerys inspired style using extensions. Finally, pull your first pair of braids back and secure it together beneath your free hanging hair. Here's a shot of the finished look, without so much sun glare this time. Tell me what you think of these styles in the comments. And don't forget to find me on Facebook, where we can geek out about the upcoming season together. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!